Yo guys, what's up? It's Jan here from the Bike Color team and I'm going to show you guys the three most common compression systems on a scooter and how to build them. So here on the first one we have the SCS compression system. First you need to slide your fork into the head tube and put the spacer on. After that you'll grab your dust cap and push it on. Sometimes you'll struggle a bit because it's quite tight. Then in this case we've got a spacer because the fork is a bit long. Then you put your SCS clamp on and then finally put the screw in and screw it in. You want to screw it in quite tight but make sure that it's not too tight. You still want your wheel and fork to be able to spin freely. After that you'll put the bar in, tighten all the bolts up and make sure that you tighten them evenly and not do one all the way and then the others. Make sure they're all tightened evenly. Alright, next up we have the ICS compression system. This one is not as common as the SCS or the HIC but it is still used quite a lot in ethic scooters or old district scooters. So first you slide the fork in like last time, put the spacer on and the dust cap. Then of course you need to take the bolt out the front of the fork because we need to access that later as you can see here. So you need to slide in a long allen key with a bolt on the top and then push it through the fork from the bottom upwards. After that you put your clamp on and your bar and then tighten the screw from the bottom. Normally if you have an ICS scooter your bar will have a star nut inside of it which will tighten up on the screw then. And at the end you tighten up the screws on the clamp. And last but not least we have IHC and HIC compression. These are basically the same um, but IHC is like the smaller version for if you have, for example, a standard size bar instead of oversized, or if you have an aluminium bar which on the inside is also smaller. So as you can see here, you have two different types of spacers. For IHC, the smaller version, you need the spacer that's thicker. Here, obviously, you put the shim on with a screw in it, the dust cap is already on, and you want to tighten it again so it's tight, but the wheel still needs to be able to spin freely. After this, we put the bar on the double clamp because you only really need two screws here and then you slide it on and once again tighten all the screws evenly. 